Hey guys, so here I am. I'm in the Hard Rock Hotel in San Diego. I'm on a job, as you can tell, hence the beard. I feel like so many people get inconsistent when they get on the road. I wanna show you um, exactly what I do, how to stay in shape, uh, whether you're at home, whether you're on the road, whether you're on vacation, whatever it may be. If you wanna consistently look good, well then you gotta be consistent, that's all there is to it. But I wanna start with a little whiteboard presentation that I put together, just so that you can see and get an idea for the scope of my career and what I've been through, so when I talk, you can look at me and say, you know what, this guy really does know what he's talking about. Check it out. Imagine if you flew completely around the Earth in a commercial jetliner. One trip around the Earth is around 26,000 miles. That would take more than 47 hours, not including all the stops for fuel you'd have to make along the way. And don't forget about the crying baby sitting right behind you or the heavy set guy taking up all the elbow room. And of course, well, there's the first time traveler talking your ear off. Add up all these factors and traveling can be a darn nightmare. Now, imagine if you flew 2.3 million miles in a commercial jetliner throughout your career. That's more than 88 times around the Earth. It's 4,136 hours spent in the air cruising at 500 miles per hour. That's three months in the air traveling around the globe. Now throw in all the stops along the way, taking trains, buses, cars, staying in hotels, and working hard at a job where you have to look your best all the time. And that means consistently eating clean, never missing the gym, and doing both with a passion to last more than 25 years. And that, my friends, is my career in a nutshell. So you see, I have been around the block, or the world, so to speak. So I'm gonna show you right now, most importantly, how I keep the nutrition clean. Okay, so I figure what better than to talk to you guys when I'm still on the road. So here I am in New York City right now in probably one of the smallest rooms that I've ever stayed at in my life. Um, the bathroom is literally right here, front door is right there, and I'm sitting on the bed. So um, it, it's pretty tiny. Okay, so what I like to do is I measure out all my protein powders and my creatine and my supplements, everything in Ziploc baggies. I like to get the snack size baggies because they're a little bit smaller than a regular uh, sandwich size baggie. So I get the snack size baggie, perfect for like two scoops of protein. So I like to have two servings of my protein per day on my trip. This is a three day trip. I'm gonna have six servings of protein. I usually like to do one serving a little bit more substantial, which I would call a full serving, and then do a regular serving. So a full serving would be something I would have probably for breakfast. I might put oats in the serving. I'll definitely put two scoops of protein, put greens, maybe some maca powder, some lecithin, just to give it some body and also for vascularity, some glutamine for muscle recovery. And then the regular size serving, scoop and a half of protein and maybe some greens and I keep it real simple. This is a regular size serving. You can see it's kind of, um, kind of full, but not totally full. And then I have a full serving here, which is definitely more full, more substantial. I'm gonna show you how I put these into my water bottle and how you can utilize just the baggie so that you don't have to worry about having a shaker bottle with you. If you don't wanna travel with a shaker bottle, you can put it right into a water bottle just by simply ripping off the corner and using that as a funnel. I also travel with a funnel sometimes. If you can find a real convenient one like the one I have here, this is super convenient. Look how small it is little tiny funnel like that. This is like a much smaller, you can see just a little bit in the bottom there, and this is my creatine. This creatine product is two servings a day, so I'll make six baggies because, I'm, again, I'm on the trip for three days. So you can see there's much less powder in the baggie, but one baggie is one serving, and again, very simple to simply take off the corner and sift that, that product right into a water bottle. It makes it really, really simple and easy. These are for my supplements, you can see like that. These are about $2.50 for 100 baggies. They'll last you like a year because you can reuse them and stuff. I'll take three of these baggies for my three days and my supplements for each day are in each one of these baggies. Then I put them all into one larger baggie, which looks like this. 
And then this, you simply fold over and it lays flat in your bag, right on top of your clothes. So it's all about ease. Most every hotel room is gonna have a little mini fridge. So if you don't have room in the fridge, just take out some of the beer and the liquor that's in there and just set it aside. And for the food, I like to get one non-fat plain Greek yogurt per day. So in this case, I'm gonna get three yogurts and I like to get canned tuna or canned chicken one can per day, which means again, I'm gonna get three cans so that I can have that for dinner. And I like to get two pieces of fruit per day. Half the fruit has to be apples. The other pieces of fruit can also be apples, but it could be a peach, a banana, a pear, an orange, whatever you want it to be. I like to take in less calories when I'm on the road for dinner because it gives me an opportunity to feel leaner when I wake up the next day. And don't forget, you wanna drink plenty of H2O, plenty of water. So I usually have like three to five bottles in my room at all times, just to make sure I'm staying hydrated. All right, so I'm gonna make a shake right now, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is using a baggie like this. You take the corner off and use that as a funnel. Uh, for the water, I'm gonna go a little more upscale, and I'm gonna use Voss water. Let me show you how I do it. I got, of course, had to take a little bit of water out. And you're just gonna take the corner and pull it off, okay? So, just like that. And all I do is sift it right into the bottle, like this. It's pretty simple. And it's just like, uh, just like having a funnel. All right, so that's pretty much it right there. All right, then I'm gonna take the lid, put that on, you can see all the protein in there, it's just this easy. And then we're gonna shake this baby up. And voila, you got your protein shake. It's that easy, I've been doing this for years. I can't think of an easier way other than, you know, if you have that funnel that I showed you before, you can put that in the top as well. From a convenience standpoint, you just can't beat this. Everything lays flat in your bag. You got all your protein with you. You don't have to bring a shaker bottle if you don't want to. Using a regular bottle like this that you can buy at any convenience store, it makes it a lot easier because when you're done with it, you can either throw it away or recycle it. I would recycle it, of course. So there you go, it's that easy. I recommend this is how you pack, this is how you travel. But don't miss a beat because if you bring your stuff with you like this, you're gonna be able to stay on your nutrition plan.